Known for their resilience and fierce independence, these people trace their origins to ancient migrations from the far north, thousands of years ago. As they journeyed south, they carved out a life in the rugged landscapes of what is now the southwestern United States, settling in vast, untamed territories, ranging from the arid deserts of Arizona to the rugged mountains of New Mexico. They developed a unique culture and way of life, perfectly attuned to their harsh environment. Their story is one of survival, adaptation, and a relentless spirit that still echoes through history. Here are 15 fascinating facts about the Apache. Fact number one, the Apache language hides secrets in its tones, where changes in pitch can alter meaning entirely. The Apache language, part of the Athabascan family, is known for its rich complexity, particularly its tonal nature. In the Western Apache dialect, for example, the word for fire is ku, with a high tone, while the word for water is ku, with a low tone. This subtle tonal difference illustrates how a shift in pitch can change the meaning of a word entirely. Additionally, Apache is polysynthetic, meaning that words can be formed by combining multiple prefixes, roots and suffixes, to create a single word that conveys what would be a full sentence in English. Beyond its grammatical intricacies, the Apache language serves as a living record of the tribe's worldview and cultural heritage. Every word carries layers of meaning deeply rooted in their history, beliefs and interactions with the environment. Efforts to preserve and revitalize the Apache language are ongoing as this linguistic treasure holds centuries of wisdom and offers a unique perspective that is invaluable to understanding the Apache way of life. Fact number two, the Apache mastered the art of survival, moving with the seasons and thriving in harsh environments. The Apache were traditionally a semi-nomadic people, adapting their lifestyle to the arid and rugged terrain of the southwestern United States. Their movement was dictated by the seasons and the availability of food resources such as game and wild plants. This mobility allowed them to utilize a wide range of environments, from desert lowlands to mountainous regions, ensuring their survival in a harsh and often unforgiving landscape. The Apache's ability to adapt to their surroundings made them formidable hunters and foragers. In addition to hunting, the Apache also practiced limited agriculture, cultivating crops like corn, beans and squash in areas where the soil and water supply permitted. However, they relied more heavily on hunting and gathering, which required frequent relocation. This semi-nomadic lifestyle was not only a practical adaptation to their environment, but also a key element of their cultural identity, influencing their social structures, traditions and interactions with other tribes. Fact number three, Apache society was built on strong family ties and a unique clan system that shaped their social world. Family and kinship were central to Apache society, forming the foundation of their social structure. Apache communities were organized around extended family groups, which provided support and protection for their members. Kinship ties were crucial in determining social roles and responsibilities within the group, with each member expected to contribute to the well-being of the family. These extended families, often referred to as bands, were the primary social units of Apache life, with each band functioning as an independent group with its own leadership. The Apache had a clan system that further structured their society. Clans were matrilineal, meaning descent was traced through the mother's line. This system determined marriage patterns, with members of the same clan forbidden from marrying each other. Clans also played a role in social ceremonies and rituals, reinforcing the bonds between different family groups. The importance of family and kinship in Apache culture helped maintain social cohesion and ensured the survival of their communities. Fact number four, the Apache saw the world as alive with spirits, guided by dreams and visions that held deeper meanings. The Apache's spiritual beliefs were deeply connected to the natural world, reflecting their close relationship with the land. They believed in a powerful spiritual force known as Usun, who was seen as the giver of life and the source of all natural phenomena. The Apache's spirituality was animistic, 
with the belief that spirits inhabited all elements of nature, from animals and plants to rivers and mountains. This worldview influenced their daily lives, with rituals and ceremonies designed to maintain harmony between humans and the natural world. Dreams and visions held a significant place in Apache spirituality. They were seen as messages from the spiritual realm, providing guidance, warnings, or insight into future events. Shamans, who were spiritual leaders within the tribe, played a vital role in interpreting these dreams and conducting ceremonies to ensure the well-being of the community. The Apache's spiritual practices were an integral part of their culture, guiding their interactions with the environment and each other. Fact number five, Apache women were the backbone of their communities with roles that went far beyond the domestic sphere. In Apache society, women held vital roles that extended far beyond traditional domestic duties. They were responsible for gathering food, processing hides, making clothing, and caring for the children. Apache women were also skilled in various crafts and played an essential part in ensuring the community's survival by preparing and preserving food for times of scarcity. Their knowledge of plants and herbs was critical not only for nutrition but also for medicinal purposes, making them key figures in maintaining the health and well-being of the tribe. Additionally, Apache women contributed to the community's defense. While men were the primary warriors, women were involved in logistical support during conflicts, such as preparing supplies and tending to the wounded. In some instances, they even participated in defending their homes and families during attacks. The roles of Apache women were crucial to the overall strength and resilience of their society, highlighting their significant influence within the tribe. Fact number six, Apache tears formed from a tragic legend are stones believed to carry protective and healing powers. One intriguing aspect of Apache culture is the significance of Apache tears, small, rounded obsidian stones with a powerful legend behind them. According to Apache tradition, these stones were formed from the tears of women mourning the loss of their warriors. The story goes that the warriors, facing overwhelming odds against US cavalry forces, chose to leap to their deaths rather than be captured. Their loved one's deep sorrow was said to have transformed into these dark, glassy stones. Beyond their legendary origins, Apache tears are believed to hold protective and healing properties. They are often carried as talismans for good luck, strength and emotional healing. Even today, these stones are highly valued within Apache communities and by others who appreciate their symbolic significance. Apache tears serve as a lasting reminder of the tribe's resilience and enduring spirit, symbolizing their ability to find strength in the face of tragedy. Fact number seven, practical yet symbolic, Apache clothing was a testament to their connection with nature and their craftsmanship. Apache clothing was designed to be practical and suited to the harsh environments of the southwestern United States. Traditional garments were primarily made from animal hides, which were tanned and softened for comfort. Apache men typically wore breechcloths, leggings and moccasins, while women wore buckskin dresses adorned with fringe and beadwork. These garments provided protection from the elements while allowing freedom of movement, essential for their semi-nomadic lifestyle. In addition to animal hides, the Apache utilized natural fibers such as yucca to create sandals, ropes and woven items. They also used the yucca plant for making soap and other essential items. Apache clothing was often decorated with intricate beadwork and embroidery, which held cultural significance and showcased their craftsmanship. These traditional garments were not only practical, but also a means of expressing identity and status within the community. Fact number eight, Apache baskets, with their intricate designs, tell stories of tradition, skill, and cultural identity. Basket weaving was one of the most important and respected crafts in Apache culture. Apache baskets were renowned for their intricate designs and expert craftsmanship, reflecting both the skill and the cultural heritage of the weaver. These baskets were made from natural materials such as willow, yucca, and devil's claw, which were carefully selected, prepared, and woven into a variety of shapes and sizes. The designs often had symbolic meanings, 
representing elements of the natural world or aspects of Apache spirituality. Apache baskets served multiple purposes within the community. They were used for carrying food, storing goods, and even cooking, with some baskets made watertight for boiling. Beyond their functional use, baskets were also important trade items exchanged with other tribes or settlers for goods and resources. Basket weaving was typically the domain of women, and the skills were passed down through generations, ensuring the preservation of this important cultural tradition. Fact number nine. The Apache turned the art of guerrilla warfare into a means of survival and resistance against powerful enemies. The Apache were renowned for their skills in guerrilla warfare, a strategy that was essential for their survival in the contested and often hostile environment of the American Southwest. They conducted raids on neighboring tribes and later on Spanish, Mexican and American settlements, primarily as a means of securing resources. These raids were highly organized with small mobile groups using their intimate knowledge of the terrain to strike swiftly and disappear before their enemies could respond. Apache warfare was not just about conflict, it was also deeply intertwined with their cultural practices and survival strategies. Raids were often planned during specific times of the year, aligning with seasonal patterns that ensured the success of their operations. Success in battle brought prestige to warriors and warfare was an important aspect of Apache male identity. The Apache's mastery of guerrilla tactics made them a formidable force and a significant challenge for any would-be conquerors. Fact number 10. Amidst the chaos of war, the Apache rose up in a fierce revolt, reclaiming their lands and autonomy. During the Mexican-American War, 1846 to 1848, the Apache saw an opportunity to resist Mexican control over their lands. The Apache Revolt of 1847 was a significant uprising in which the Apache, along with other Native American groups, took advantage of the chaos of the war to launch attacks against Mexican authorities. This revolt allowed the Apache to reclaim some of their territory and assert their autonomy in the face of encroachment by settlers and military forces. The revolt was marked by a series of coordinated attacks on Mexican settlements and military outposts, demonstrating the Apache's tactical prowess and determination to defend their land. Although the uprising was eventually suppressed, it highlighted the ongoing resistance of the Apache to external control. The revolt is an important chapter in the history of Apache resistance, symbolizing their unyielding spirit and commitment to preserving their way of life against overwhelming odds. Fact number 11. The legendary clashes between the Apache and Buffalo soldiers were a battle of wits and willpower. In the late 19th century, the US government deployed African-American soldiers, known as Buffalo soldiers, to the southwestern United States with the mission of subduing Native American tribes, including the Apache. The Buffalo soldiers were so named by Native American tribes who compared their hair to the curly fur of Buffalo. These soldiers played a crucial role in the Indian Wars, engaging in numerous battles with the Apache as they sought to enforce US policies in the region. The encounters between the Apache and the Buffalo soldiers were intense and often brutal, with both sides demonstrating remarkable tenacity and skill. The Buffalo soldiers faced the challenge of combating a highly mobile and resourceful opponent in the Apache, who used their knowledge of the terrain to their advantage. These clashes were part of the larger struggle for control over the Southwest, a struggle that ultimately led to the displacement of many Apache communities. Fact number 12, Geronimo, a name that echoes through history, led daring raids that became the stuff of legend. Geronimo is perhaps the most famous Apache leader, known for his fierce resistance against US and Mexican forces during the late 19th century. Born in what is now Arizona, Geronimo was a member of the Chiricahua Apache and became a key figure in their fight to preserve their homeland. His deep personal losses at the hands of Mexican soldiers fueled his resolve to resist, leading him to become a symbol of defiance and resilience among the Apache. Geronimo led a small group of followers in a series of daring raids and escapes, eluding capture by US and Mexican forces for years, 
his knowledge of the terrain and guerrilla tactics made him a formidable adversary. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, Geronimo's resistance became legendary, capturing the imagination of both his allies and enemies. In 1886, he finally surrendered, marking the end of major Apache resistance to U.S. rule, but his legacy as a symbol of Apache endurance lives on. Fact number 13, Apache warriors became invaluable allies to the U.S. Army, using their skills in unexpected ways. The Apache Scouts were a group of Native American warriors who served as scouts for the U.S. Army during the late 19th century. Recruited from various Apache tribes, these scouts were invaluable to the military because of their unparalleled knowledge of the southwestern terrain and their expertise in guerrilla tactics. Their role was critical in the U.S. Army's efforts to track down and subdue other Native American groups, including renegade Apache bands. The decision of some Apache to serve as scouts was complex, often motivated by the need to ensure survival and secure better treatment for their families. The Apache scouts played a significant role in several key military campaigns, including the capture of Geronimo. Their service was both a testament to their skills and a reflection of the difficult choices faced by Native American communities during a time of profound upheaval. Today, the legacy of the Apache Scouts is recognized as an important chapter in U.S. military history. Fact number 14. Despite immense pressure, the Apache adapted without losing their cultural essence, merging old and new. Despite facing enormous pressures from European settlers and later the U.S. government, the Apache demonstrated remarkable resilience and adaptability. Throughout their history, they incorporated certain elements of foreign cultures into their own, while fiercely preserving their core traditions and values. For instance, they adopted horses and firearms from the Spanish, which significantly altered their way of life and warfare tactics. These adaptations enabled them to survive and resist for longer periods than many other Native American tribes. At the same time, the Apache remained deeply committed to their cultural identity, continuing to practice their traditional ceremonies, maintain their language, and uphold their social structures. This ability to adapt while preserving their heritage allowed the Apache to navigate the challenges of colonization and forced relocation. Today, the Apache continue to honor their traditions, passing them down to future generations and ensuring that their cultural legacy endures despite the trials of history. Fact number 15, the Apache continue to thrive, honoring their traditions while actively shaping a vibrant future. Today, several federally recognized Apache tribes exist in the United States, including the White Mountain Apache, San Carlos Apache, and Mescalero Apache. These tribes have established reservations where they govern their own affairs and work to preserve their cultural heritage. While the Apache have faced significant challenges, including poverty and loss of traditional lands, they have also made substantial contributions to the broader American society, particularly in areas such as arts, education, and public service. Modern Apache tribes continue to practice many of their traditional customs, including ceremonies, language preservation efforts, and the crafting of traditional arts like basket weaving and beadwork. They also engage in economic development initiatives, such as tourism and resource management, to support their communities. The Apache people's enduring spirit and commitment to their cultural identity ensure that their rich history and traditions will continue to thrive in the 21st century and beyond. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more fascinating facts and untold history.